Hey you guys, this is Janice Wilson Hughes. We're here in my Evolution Stoneware Pottery Studio for part two of easy methods for rehydrating clay. I recently made a method about cutting some hard clay into chunks and wrapping it in wet fabric and then letting that moisture wick into the clay to rehydrate it. And then my longtime Facebook friend Florence Wiley told me of another technique that may be even easier. So I want to show you guys that today. Basically what we're going to do is add water to the bag of clay with the clay inside, tie it up really tight and submerge it in a five gallon bucket full of water. Now the reason that you put it in a bucket of water is that it will, the pressure from the water outside the bag will force the water inside the bag to sort of distribute all the way around the clay and not just sit in the bottom of the bag and then it will absorb evenly into your dry clay. Now it's going to take some time. This is not going to be a fast process with a rock hard block of clay like I'm going to use today. So according to flow we only need about a cup of water for rock hard clay. So don't put too much. The first time I tried this I hadn't talked to her about how much water to add and I added way too much. So I'm going to go with flow, do one cup. The first thing we need to do is make sure that this bag does not have any holes in it. Ooh. And take the clay out of the bag. And I'm going to put some water in here just to see if water leaks out. Because that might be why your clay is dry in the first place if your hole had a bag, if your bag had a hole in it. Okay, I'm reasonably satisfied that this bag does not have a hole in it. Believe me, if you don't check first, you'll just take your clay, you'll add water in your bag, and then the water's going to dump out all over your studio. I did it twice! <laughs> Must be why the clay is so dry. I'm gonna have to get a new bag. This bag has a hole too. <sighs> Not gonna make that mistake again. Okay, clay is situated in the bag. Now I'm gonna add about a cup of water. There's my water. Just add that in there. You may want to go ahead and put your bag of clay in your bucket of water before you do this. Um, might make it a little easier. I just want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing. But I am going to go ahead and put it in here. This bucket is about half full. It's full to about right here, right below the edge of the screen. So going to sink this bag in here, making sure that I don't allow more water to get in the top. And all that water pressure is going to help squeeze the air on the sides of the bag. I'm going to tie it up really tight as much as I can without any air space in it. So I've added water in here and I'm going to drop this down into the bucket. That water in there is pushing all the air out of this bag of clay, which is pretty awesome. Twist this as tight as I can.
double it over and tie it off. All right, now just need to leave this for about a week, maybe even more, maybe a couple. Then when we take this out, that moisture will be absorbed into the clay. The longer you wait, the more even the moisture will be from the outside of the block of the clay to the center of it. Then you will need to wedge it quite a bit, but a little bit of trial and error for how much moisture you need to add, how much raw water you need to add to your clay, depending on how dry it is, and how soft you want it to be to work with for your project. But this is a pretty painless and easy way to rehydrate some clay. Talk to you guys later. We'll check in and see how this is going after a while. Bye. All right, it's been two weeks since I submerged that rock hard or virtually bone dry clay with one added cup of water into the bucket of water. I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna compare it now to an identical block that I didn't rehydrate yet, and we'll see how it turned out. Now you can see it has expanded by absorbing some water. It's a little taller, a little wider than this identical block, and it has some cracks in it, so you'll definitely need to wedge this, but I do believe that this is at a workable consistency now. Wow, this is even softer than I expected. That one cup rule is definitely true. Very soft clay now. This is awesome. Okay, this turned out so well, I'm going to do the same thing with this other bag now that I know this, this works. I might use even a little bit less water. So thank you, Flo, for the tip, and I hope this helps you guys out there. Have fun making pots. See you guys later. Bye.